down to the four core guys. All right. All right. Boston, Chad, Nick. Let's go. We know that they have the required leg strength that we're looking for. Now we got to see do they have the foot control to be able to do the th- different variety of kicks that we want them to do. Hey, guys, let's make sure you understand this. I don't want this ball in play, still to play. I want this ball on the, on the sideline. Yeah. All right. And we're not asking you to put the ball on the numbers. All right. Make sure you get it inside the 10 and you get it out of bounds. When you're punting from the middle of the field, it's called the inside the 20. If you can back them up without going in the end zone, backs up and dies on the five-yard line, that way the uh, opposing team, they've got to go 95 yards to score a touchdown. The percentage of scoring from 95 yards out is about 5%. The final four would now get a series of kicks to prove they had enough foot control to play at NFL level. First up was 29-year-old PE teacher Chad Parrish from Adelaide. Good to be in this sort of situation, be a bit of a sponge and try and take in and think, OK, I'll give that a try and see if that works or, or see if it doesn't work and, and just see, see what you can take away from something. You need to see in, in game situations, you need to see how they respond to, to, to pressure situations and that's crucial. After the earlier series of punts, Steve was looking to see a more consistent performance. How long have you been kicking the football? Eight, nine years. Eight or nine years. And there's still that, but, but there's too many inconsistencies yeah. for you to be hitting the, uh, for being involved with it for eight or nine years. Okay, so really focus on being more consistent. The pressure seemed to be getting to Chad. Chad, you're a little bit methodical and stiff. Just relax, okay? Steve kept pushing. Chad was struggling to compose himself. You've got to be able to reset your mind and get it back to where it needs to be and focused. And this is really kind of putting you in that situation, all right? So let's get a little bit more consistency. Best one, that's serious. Mike, don't be honest and massage it. He's stiff all over. Obviously, Steve, uh, very straight at the point down the line and, and, and tells it like it is. I felt bad for the kid, but the one thing that I got out of him is, is the environment that we put him in today was a low-pressure environment and he failed. So with Chad done for the day, it was up to Nick to rebuild the confidence of our American scouts. He had performed well after some early tips from Mike. Nick, once I told him to move the hand up on the ball, he started ripping the ball better. In the AFL, uh, it, it's not so specialised, the, the art of kicking, whereas uh, punting and, and kicking is a, is a specialised position in America and they um, really detail everything and, and, and like everything to be 100%. He starts strongly and is making the right impression. Four. Four yard line, good. It's just another opportunity to, to show yourself and uh, you just got to keep look, looking and searching for the doors to open. Yeah, that is an easy kick for him, isn't it? Because the wind gets it and once it starts curving back the other way. Nice punt. Yeah. Good punt. The rest of his punts come with mixed results. Nick, you, you're, you're more consistent to your right than you are to your left. However, Steve seems impressed with his ability. When he keeps within himself and he keeps composed and he stays, stays on the drop line and, and everything's perfect, he hits the ball as good as, mo- uh, as any of them do. There you go. There you go. Good. Sit down, baby. Nah. All right. Here we go, Scott. So far, Scott has received more praise than any of our other hopefuls on his efforts. And Mike and Steve seem to see a raw talent that has excited them. I think he has the most potential out of all of them. He's got the prototype uh, punting body. I was a bit apprehensive about coming down. I didn't know what, what it was about. I was going to come down and have a look, but decided to have a kick. Although the ability is obviously there, Steve still has reservations regarding his experience. He had a naturally strong leg. He just doesn't know what he's doing. He continues to perform, improving with every punt. That was his first punting lesson I gave him today. And the guy can rip it. Is he a rookie with you guys? Nice. One yard line. Steve can no longer hide his enthusiasm. Hey, how old are you, Scott? 22. And how long have you been punting? Uh, One day. Do you have any rep? Is anybody representing you agent wise? I mean, obviously, you got a contract with the Lions. He's never punted. He's playing on a sprained ankle today. Um, but I think he's the one that you've got to continue to follow because if he picks up a football and he, de- and he develops a skill set, there's no doubt he can punt in the NFL. 
Um, good to hear some positive feedback when you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> he can rip it, man. man. He just, he's just so unrefined. One last. While Scott will be a tough act to follow, David King is probably the most qualified to do just that. He may not have the leg strength of Scott, however his ability to direct the ball is what has piqued the interest of Mike and Steve. He's, he's more of a directional guy, which those guys have value. Fegels, that's who this guy is. Same body type. David's got, uh, he's a great directional punter. He's kind of what the, the Giants have already, a good directional punter. I've given up playing local football this year just to really concentrate on this, and you know, I've just committed 